In the bottom of the seventh inning, with Mookie Wilson in second base, Kevin Mitchell hits his 10th home run of the season, and the elated Kevin Mitchell going around the bases. Certainly fast enough to do it. He got to that ball in a hurry, and then made an accurate throw home. And there's a drive into right center, and that'll win the ball game. Mookie will score, and the Mets win it four to three. What a night for Kevin Mitchell. What a big hit. Two big hits back to back for Kevin Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell with a base hit with two men out. He had tied the ball game and put the Mets up with a two run home run in the seventh. He wins it here in the ninth inning with a single to right field and the Mets win it four to three. The Mets now have won eight in a row from the St. Louis Cardinals. It's a fastball right out over the plate and Kevin Mitchell just hits a bullet right back through the box. There's no chance to get Mookie Wilson on this. This is just hold on to it. This game is over. But now Mitchell comes through with a big base hit, his second of the ball game, and the Mets win it by a score of four to three. Two and two to Johnson with one out and two on. And he hits it deep to right field. Parker going back. It's tater time. This ball's out of here. Howard Johnson with a three run home run in the top of the 14th inning off Ted Power and the Mets lead six to three Johnson taking that ball over the left field face is six over the left field fence is six home run he gets his 19th 20th and 21st RBIs and the Mets now lead for the first time by a score of six to three Templeton a second the tying run on here nobody out it's bottom of the 11th base hit this should tie the game. They're bringing Gary Templeton home. Good throw. Did he hold the ball? He did. He's out. Flannery going to third. They got to play on him, and he's out. The ball game is over. Unbelievable. Look at that throw by Dykstra. Terrific on a fast runner, Templeton, who I said it seemed to have hurt his leg running to second base on his double. Great job by Gibbons to hold it. And then Flannery with two outs is the tying run in scoring position already. There's no reason to go to third. None to get the double play to end the game. I don't believe it. Howard Johnson batting for the Mets in the ninth inning with a runner on Todd Worrell on the mound. And what a time for Hojo to hit his first home of the year. Oh baby this is long gone. Howard Johnson ties up this game with the Cardinals for all. Well hit. This ball game is over, and it may be out of here. A grand slam home run. Tim Tuffle in the bottom of the 11th, and the Mets win it 8-4. to four. discussed that were possibilities that one never came to mind the Mets put the home run power on as Gary Carter hits two Tim Tuffle hits the biggest one of the night a grand slam in the bottom of the 11th to break a 4 4 tie I'll tell, you, I'll tell you instead of employing a five man infield John Felsky should have employed a seven man outfield and given a couple of them tickets <laughs> Because that would have been the only way to feel that one. Tom Hume had to come in there. Tuffle knew it. And he uncorks one. And you talk about getting all of it. Home run number two for Tim Tuffle. And there was no doubt about it. Renicky, no chance to get it. Holy cow. What an ending to this game. Look at this. Can't believe it. That'll bring him back, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well hit left field. This ball is out of here. It's a game-winning home run, and the Mets have won seven in a row. Sinatra saying start spreading the news, and the Mets are doing exactly that. They're spreading the news that they are right now the dominant team in this game. These Mets fans have waited for this really for the better part of three seasons ever since the 84 campaign when the Mets 
became a contender and they are ready to bust loose in more ways than one. 13 years of waiting. Ground ball a second. Backman to Hernandez. The unbelievable season is not over. But the championship is here in New York. The inevitable has finally become a reality. And the adoring fans have swept on the field. On September 17th, the New York Mets become champions of the National League's Eastern Division for 1986. Well, you see everyone swarming on the field. There's tremendous excitement here. Some of the players were still on the field. They've all run now to the seclusion of the clubhouse, the safety of the clubhouse. We're hoping that everyone here has a wonderful time. We're also hoping that no one gets hurt and that Chase Stadium survives.